Hey, y'all. So all of the things back in Ephesians 4 where Paul has talked about the Gentiles and their moral understanding is darkened, their corrupt logic, their minds are in the dark, um, and then spiritual apathy. Remember, they, their lack of interest or concern, their indifference over their spiritual lives. And, and Paul reminds the Ephesians, you did not learn this of Christ. This is not okay. This is not how you live. He said, assuming that you have really heard him and been taught by him as all truth is in Jesus, embodied and personified in him. So this spirit of truth, the truth giving spirit, the Holy Spirit, reveals to us those things that need to be removed. And if we go back to the Romans passage where we've been where we started in, where he says, do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs. You know, that's all on the outside. Um, a lot of times we feel like if we clean up the outside, that's enough. But for Jesus, the inside changes, and that is what changes the outside. Um, Pastor's been doing a series in Colossians, and it's been really interesting every week because we're not in Colossians. We, we've not been reading or studying in Colossians. But so much, so many points that he brings out in in the sermon on Sunday mornings are connected to what we have been digging into in Ephesians. And that no matter how many rules we keep, it's not about the regulations or the rituals, but it is about intimacy with Jesus Christ. And that's what Paul says. But you did not so learn Christ, assuming that you have really heard him and been taught by him that's intimacy with Jesus so where how are we going to learn what life looks like <laughs> um, as a believer when we've been redeemed and now we're you know growing in righteousness or growing in um, looking more like Jesus living that out because we are made righteous when we accept Jesus but this is what we're talking about. We gotta fix our minds, our hearts, our will and emotions have to come in line to our, with our spirit man. So, assuming that you have really heard him and been taught by him, that's Jesus. That we would have intimate time with Jesus. That we would have ears to hear Jesus, that we've heard him and that we've been taught by who? Him. Well, of course, Jesus is not right here sitting on the couch in front of me. But the same spirit that empowered Jesus to live as the Son of God lives in me to empower me to live as a daughter of God. And that's where it's so important that we recognize that this truth-giving spirit, that this spirit of truth will reveal Jesus to me so that I can learn how to live and how to walk and how to think. That this Holy Spirit will reveal to me. And then going back to the passage that we read in 1 Corinthians 2.14, but the natural man, the non-spiritual man, does not accept or welcome or admit into his heart the gifts, teachings, and revelations of the Spirit of God. So do you see the absolute separation that Paul has, has brought about here? This is how the heathen live. This is what they do. But you did not learn Christ. 
This is, you did not so learn Christ. This is not how you learned Jesus. Assuming that you really have heard him and you really have been taught by him. All right, we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.